I'm about to start checking traps for the River Project's fish ecology study. There are 20 Kelly traps and four crab pots, and all of them need to be checked when you go to check traps. And Jackie here is today to be my recorder. She's going to record everything that we catch down on our data sheet. And for this one, all we've got is one snail. Um, but this is a mud dog whelk snail. Uh, they are our most common snail and actually are really important for us to bring back to our tanks because they're good food for the other fish and they'll help keep our tanks clean. Oh, and we also got a mud crab. So in this trap, we caught something called a grass shrimp. You can see they are perfectly see-through and this is a defense mechanism. And we'll bring them back. They're good for our touch tank and also fish food. Oh, oh my goodness. And the seahorse. Just going to curl up and try to stay wet. Come on, furl for you a little bit. Oh, <laughs> we've got another seahorse. 8.5 centimeters. But sometimes we also catch blackfish. Oh my goodness, or a toadfish, which is what we have right here. Oh, you're beautiful. Hi. I need the measure board. Yeah. If you come down to Pier 40 to our aquarium, you'll be able to see lined seahorses, northern pipefish, winter flounders. Um, we have a few black sea bass right now um, and a lot of other animals that inhabit the Hudson River estuary. Um, we also have a touch tank for children with invertebrates from the Hudson, uh, from the Hudson River estuary that has a lot of snails and shrimp um, and some of our smaller crab species. Um, so anyone can come down and get a little lesson um, and learn all about all the different animals that we have.